Man, I could do this forever. I never noticed this before. But you can totally see that the maps like unrolls and rolls to show more of the map. That's that's pretty cool. I don't know how well the video is gonna pick that up, but yeah. So let's move on to a, a level that I remember very fondly as a kid. What's gusty taste like? Mainly because I figured it tastes like bubbles, because that's what it looks like. It looks like a bubble. This is Gusty. Gusty can be stepped on, turned into an egg, and spit out. So it's just a very easy enemy. BAM! Definitely want to unlock this. Get some free coins here. They will never hide red coins in dotted coins like that, so don't worry about that. That's what you're worried about. Um... The, this level, let's get this, ah, uh, let's get this one up. Shut up, Mario. Crap, we missed it. Um, this level is notorious for having a very well hidden secret. And to get all the red coins, you have to find that secret. So, I will be sure to point that out. Also, a fairly short level for being World 2-1. Um, but yeah, I figured Gusty would taste like bubbles because it looks like a bubble. Maybe with a fishy taste or something. I think these are just stars. Yeah, um, another thing that I'm glad about is that the reason I couldn't tell what the red coins were in the last one was because my screen was set to dim for some reason. I didn't notice until after the recording. Good thing the recording didn't record in dim because that would be annoying as crap. Speaking of annoying as crap, I hate wall puzzles like this, because they're, well, they're not really puzzles. They're just walls. And you have to get through them with eggs. And I believe there's a hidden, yep, there's a hidden cloud right there. This level also has, crap, I think a beefed up version. You're kidding me! Damn it. I hate these bats. I really do. They come in handy in a bonus level. Kind of. It, there's, a, there's a cool little secret you can do. Hey, Mild. Um, other than that, though, these I think their names are Fang. They're annoying. Give me my stars. I need them. I'm probably still going to need more stars. Let's see if I can cheat some stars out of this. Um, you can kind of cheat stars by... Crap. If you hit an egg off a wall enough times to turn it into a red egg, you can get two stars that way, but I don't see that happening, so we're going to have to find another way to cheat. Well, not cheat, but be a little cheap. Now this is the area that I was talking about. Somewhere in here is a switch, and I'm not sure if where you go in gives you different uh, areas, but I'm going to go into the one that I know the best and show off another new enemy. Uh, I believe it's actually somewhere above here. There it is. Nope, not it. This is, once again, I hate wall puzzles because you just have to just throw eggs and hope for the best. Blindly hit things. Um... It's in here somewhere, and I, I really, I really am surprised I haven't found it yet. I thought it was somewhere near the bottom, but apparently it's somewhere near the top. There it is. Okay. Now, when you hit this, there's going to be multiple um, down arrows to go down. There's one. Well, maybe not. Uh, so let's go down this one, and here we have all the red coins in the world that we'll need, and two yellow and one red egg. And here's a new enemy. Where is he? There he is. This is Nepanuts. Nepanuts will jump out of the water and chase you. If you hit him with an egg, he will go down and you'll be safe. And this is where I honestly think 10... Ah! Uh, no! There's not many mid-rings left. Actually, I actually don't think there is any mid-rings left, but yeah, there's 10 red coins in here. So you definitely want to be sure to stop by this area. Now let's see if we can cheat some... Nope, didn't do that right. Oh, well, I guess we can just ricochet. Because red will turn into yellow. 
but yellow, but red won't turn into anything else after one hit. It's kind of confusing, but once you play the game, you'll you'll realize what the egg physics are. And I don't believe there's any flowers in here, but I'll check anyway just to be sure. Oh, there's one right there. Let's see if we can. I hate rock puzzles. Let's see if we can get it from here. Nope. Ah, God. Might speed this up because this is annoying. I hate, 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 hate uh, rock wall puzzles. Let's see if we can build a staircase. Nope, that went straight up and down. That was the most glorious display of fail I've seen in a while. Let's make it in here. Oh, come on. I have to go back down to get another egg. Annoying. Annoying. Just annoying is what these things are. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, all in all, if you're if you're if you're not trying to get 100% like I am, this is a very fast level, very short. It's raining outside, but that's not the end of the world. Ha ha ha! Ah, the end of the world. That was annoying. I think is that red? No, none of these are red either. Uh, this comes up to another area where I need a damn egg. Or a watermelon. Now that I think about it, watermelon would work just fine. You have one shot to do this, so what you want to do is you want to aim for that key. I mean, you don't miss anything like a red coin or a flower or anything, but believe me, you want to go for it, because I'm going to try to redeem myself for that terrible press the buttons in this sequence game, because that's the one that we find. Crap. Um... All the way back here, nonetheless, too. That's why they give us this little sort of shortcut back. Or else you would have to be going pretty far. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Like I said, I don't think there's any mid-rings left, so I'm going to have to cheat, cheaty method my way into that. All right, let's see how we do this time. Probably not going to be good. There's a longer version of this, and I actually think this is the one that's the longer version. Nope, still four. The longer version has six. Oh, boy. Crap. I get my X and my Y mixed up a lot. I believe there's a way to really cheap this out to where, like, you hold it right before it bursts and then send it over real quick, but I'm, I'm not good at timing like that. I'm really good at the D-pad combinations. I really like those. And I think you get a 1-up from this one. I think it's scripted to where you get a 1-up every time. But we're gonna lose. I can already tell. And it's really funny, like, how he gets faster as it gets bigger. Oh, uh, we've lost. Oh, we won! And yeah, it is a one-up. That's a derpy-looking one-up. And it's scripted that he picks it up for you. Hmm, weird. Oh, man. Don't get used to that. That'll be the first time. That'll probably be the only time I win this. I win that game. Oh, uh, I should have tried to take that with us. Because you totally can. You can push it all the way through here. They will break rocks like that. Um, well, now that we've gotten that, what all do we need still? We need one more flower, which is over here, which you can use the watermelon to get it, and I think I'm honestly going to have to cheap method my my stars, because I only have 27. And I can't go down in there, so I can't do it that way. Oh, man. Life's a bitch sometimes. Um, I don't know how to get that, actually. That kind of baffles me. I'll look into that. And there's, there's really no more. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to come back and do this one again, too. Wait, unless... We might use that. Just to see if it'll give us stars. Which I think one of the things is supposed to give us is stars. Yeah, okay, so let's use it. What did that do? Oh, if there would have been enemies on screen, it would have turned them into stars. That's what that does. Well, I wasted that. All right, well, I'll just come back and do this one off screen. Pass it on to the yellow Yoshi. 
the most unused Yoshi from Super Mario World. But now that none of them have any special powers, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, 96. Damn good score! But I know we can get 100. Oh! Big Boo's Castle. Actually, I think it's Bigger Boo's Castle. What is it? Bigger Boo's Fort. I forgot the first ones are Fort. Um, this introduces a very iconic Mario Universe enemy, which is Big well, Boo in general. Their mechanic is when you're not looking at them, they will chase you, but when you are looking at them, they will hide. They're like stalkers, but very shy stalkers, I guess. Which I think most stalkers are shy. Well, actually, I'm not going to say that. I've had some stalkers that were not shy. And I've had a decent amount of stalkers in my life, and I'm not really that popular. I don't know why I've had so many stalkers in my life. Um, you can defeat the boos. All you have to do is hit them when they're looking at you, which generally requires you to make a bank shot like that. And you will be rewarded with... A flower in that room. Anyway, here's the first sort of puzzle aspect to this, and I, I don't really remember the puzzle all that well. So I apologize if I do things wrong. That's that's the best way I could say it is wrong. Um oh god, Gusty's back. Aw, oh, that was bull crap. All I did was walk on top of him. And those guys, those guys, you I don't think you can beat them, actually. Uh, I guess we'll test this. Nope, you can't eat them either. You get that little <laughs> sound. Um, what is the trick here? I don't know the trick for here, because once you hit that, you're below this. So you get the key here. Uh, oh, I know what it is. Anytime you go into a door, that will reset. So you have the key, so you can go in this door and reset that, so you can jump down there. Aha! I figured out the puzzle. Of course, there's got to be something to do in here, too. There is. There's red coins and whatnot in here. And I believe an enemy that we only see, like, once in the game. But don't quote me on that, because I haven't even seen him in here yet. Um... Come here. Get out. Okay, so yeah, the enemy that I'm thinking... Damn it. Is not in here. But... There's a room very much like this that has a cool enemy. Anyway, let's move on. And that'll bring us here, which gives us this box, which... Has the stars in it that we need. And now that we're up here... We can just jump down into here, pick up the mid-ring, and boom, baby, we're done. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but if there are stars on the screen and you have 30, and you pick them up, they, they won't make you have, like, 31 stars or anything. They'll just, they'll just, they won't do anything. Kind of lame. That'd be cool to get, like, over 31 stars, but it's not the case. Ooh. Oh, these things. These things are annoying. I forgot what they're called in the Mario universe. Oh, and here's a very dangerous part. Can we hit him? No. Okay. Uh, once again, lava is instant kill. So I'm going to be kind of finicky landing on this thing. This platform, the further forward you lean on it, the faster it'll go. But if you lean too far forward, you'll fall off and into the lava, which is an instant kill. I do not like these platforms. They only show up in a few levels to my knowledge, though, so... Not to worry. Well, I worried, but still. I had good reason. Uh, these are yellow. Yep. These are red. And that's all of them. And you might not be able to see it, but... This guy... I guess I'll point this out first. This guy has things chasing him. I think if you take him out, you take the rest of them out, too. Yeah, and they all turn into stars, but we're full-on stars. There's a cracked block up here, which means there's more to the other side of the stage. Not that side, though, because I think we still have, yeah, we still have one flower, which is 100% guaranteed to be in this room right here. It'll probably be like, kill all the enemies inside and you'll get it. 
Oh, rare enemy, actually. I think this enemy only shows up in this level, in this game. Crap. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I honestly think this is the only game. Where's... I, I don't understand what's going on. I'm kind of lost here. I'm gonna hit these guys because I can. I think if you hit them enough times, they'll fully inflate and pop. Which is what I'm hoping for. There we go. And that's how you get the star in here. But yeah, that blind boo up there. One of my favorite characters. Even though he only shows up... Oh, and I know what it is. He's blind, and he'll only chase you if you can hear things. So when you're picking up coins, is when he'll attack you. Yeah, I think this is the only time in every game that he shows up. I love him. He, he's a really cool character. And look at him. Awesome. Um, so let's get out of here. I hope there's a mid-ring right before the thing so we can fill up on stars, because if not, uh, it's going to be annoying. And, oh, I guess we can fill up on stars here. So yeah, let's take these guys out. Just in case. Just in case. Had that miss. Anyway, but yeah, um, that's how you get everything, and I believe this just brings us to another mid- Oh, these things. <laughs> I like how that's how the series is. It's just me going, oh, these things. It's a very weird three-dimensional platform that I don't really understand a lot of the times, because when you're running on it, you can't really tell which way you're running. And I, they just threw them in here for the hell of it, I guess. Because now we're on big, bigger boo. So they take a big boo, and they make him a bigger boo. Oh yes, we have Baby Mario's twin brother at Bowser's castle, but we're not handing him over to the likes of you. And like I said, the only time you can hit boos are when they're not hiding. So... The aim of this game is ricochet. And he will actually get bigger after each hit. These bats will plague you through here. They will show up all over the screen. This is one of the harder ones not to take a hit on. So be very weary of that. And I think you only had to hit him like four times? Nope. It seems to be... Actually, I haven't been counting, so... Oh, try hard mode. There we go. And he's done. I'm way off. Um, 100% there. Did we 100% the one before this, or am I going to have to go back and do that one? I think we 100%ed it. No, we needed stars, didn't we? Damn it. Ooh, good level coming up. Yeah, alright, so I guess I'll see you guys uh, at the end of this level after I've gotten the stars, because I'm pretty sure that's all I needed. Well, I didn't investigate that, but still. Uh, 100%. Yeah! That level's annoying. I never liked doing that level. Oh, and we have to do a bonus challenge before we end this episode off. What's the bonus what's the bonus challenge for this area of the game? Guess we'll find out. Oh, the slot machine, that's right. I'm actually gonna try this time. Cherry. Cherry. Oh, I missed. Unfortunate. It would have just been two ups anyway. And we still have 55 lives. God, we have so many lives. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.